got my pan. And I got my ground beef. Sorry, I got my ground chicken. I'm gonna make chicken burgers. I'm excited. I've been craving chicken burgers. I need a smaller pan. Oh, this will fit. And of course it won't. This one doesn't work. I'm gonna kill someone. It fits. No. Go back to sleep. Sorry, I'm cooking. Yes. I'm cooking like a mad scientist today. Don't worry, it's going to be delicious in your tummy. Hubby's trying to sleep. So it's not the best time to make a YouTube video. But I'm going to do it anyway. So, I've never made burgers before. I know that you squish them into a patty. And then I know you put them in the frying pan. And then... You flip them, and they come out. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. And I don't know if he's going to like it. And to be honest, I don't know if this ground chicken is good. It smells kind of good, I guess. My nose is off. My senses are off. And my stomach is acting like it wants to kill me. Like it always does when I'm hungry. Oh my gosh, water, boil, come on. I want my mashed potatoes. Come on. Uh, maybe I should have let the water boil and then put in the potatoes. I forget how people have done it. This is the problem. I see someone cook something like a million times and I go, oh, dude, I can totally do that. And then I sit down to totally do it. And then I go, what's the first step? How do I boil water again? Right. It's fun times, fun times. Everything takes so long to ticks me off. Ticks me off, Fafa. or paper. Ugh. I don't like touching raw meat. I don't like it. I don't love it. Not my favorite. No, thank you. This is a demented looking burger so far. Well done. Well done. Smart. 
make a demented looking burger. Plop. Eh, gross. Ew. Nasty. Gross. No, thank you. Not welcome here. And it's not washing off. It's not washing off of my hands. Ooh. And I can't wrap this up. That's what it looks like so far. That's what my mashed potatoes look like so far. I can see it bubbling and I'm so excited. To be honest, I've never actually like made a meal from scratch like this before. I've made components of the meal from scratch before. Like, I've made mashed potatoes before. Yep, these will cook just the way I like it. I'm gonna find a cover for that pot. Boop -a doop Let's check on the mashed potatoes. By the way, I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I do realize how long it's been since I've made a YouTube video. Nope, those are still hard as a rock. Whew. But yeah, I was feeling sick for a couple months. And we were also moving stuff into the apartment. We got a table, and it's already filled with clutter. We got chairs, and that one doesn't really do much. That's why it's holding my laundry. And we got a bed. We got a bed. Yay. Oh, and we got art from my sister. He did not fall. I mean, it's gonna fall either way, and it's gonna be a horrible angle either way, so. Something I need to buy in the near future is a strainer. I am very proud of the burger. I flipped it twice now, and it's actually staying together. And it's browning, and I love it, and it looks like food. And if you ask anyone I know, yes. I am this easily happy. Check those taters. Nope, those are so hard. Try to resist a cruel joke. Where did we can go? Uh -huh. My husband was the last one to use the can opener. How do I know? 
because he always leaves it on the table. Let's check on this burger. Da 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 da! I'm actually really pleased with the way this looks. I'm not quite sure how long to cook it for. But this first one is going to go to my husband. Because if I cook it for too long, my hubby won't mind because he likes his food still making sounds. I actually tried to get a cookbook at my local library. And I was like, yes, this one's from a professional restaurant. It's got lots of stuff for rice and soups, and I love rice and soup. There's got to be something in there for my husband. I took it home, and I realized I got a vegan cookbook. My husband and I are not vegan. <laughs> I like chicken too much to be vegan. Check on these taters. They are so hot. I need to actually let them boil instead of messing with them. I get impatient. So I start trying to speed it up. Like everything right now is on medium or like the notch above medium. <laughs> And if I was really impatient, I'd turn it up to high. Yeah. Let's get a plate for these burgers. Oh. I'll show you guys what they look like. Dun, 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 dun. I've started to brown, so I'm going to put them over here. That looks nice. Okay. And the potatoes are boiling. They're actually over. But I'm just going to leave them. I don't think my smoke detector works, so. Yeah. Should be great. I mean, nothing else in this building works. Except the hot shower. Ew, the paper is so gross, and this is so gross. This is the worst part of cooking. Ugh, hate it, hate it, hate it. Don't want it, no thank you. Why is it so mushy? Don't like, don't like, don't like. Get that in the trash. The mashed potatoes are steaming a lot and it's making me happy. Okay, let's check our tenders. my horrible dance moves. Okay. Now let that cook. Da, da, da. I'm actually very pleased with my cooking abilities right now.
second burger is cooking a little faster. And from my experience with pancakes, I know it's because the pot or the pan has heated up. So, I'm excited. And I figured out I can make a total of three burgers with this packaging, which will be perfect in a year or two, hopefully. Yes, I have started to soften. Continue to soften my children. Honestly, I think if my mom saw me right now, she'd be really, really proud. Growing up, I was one of those kids who could only cook ramen and spaghetti. I'm pretty dang proud of myself right now. So... Um, sorry, I was swiping away a chat box. Um, these videos are going to be a little different from my usual videos. They're not going to be edited anymore because I recently switched to an Android and Android's free editing softwares suck. So, we're going back to unedited. Okay, these are bubbling a lot. I have to stop opening the lid. They're never going to soften if I open the lid. Yes, my pretty. Other than that, I can't think of any other life updates that you guys would care about. Oh, I'm going to have some vlogs coming out soon. I know I keep saying that, but this time it's most definitely. I opened it again! Cruddle! I have to stop doing that. So, how's your guys' days been? Mine's been okay. We had, we had a movie night, or a movie day, really, and, oh, don't you hiss at me. <clears throat> We've, uh, my husband and I have been watching movies all day on Disney+. Plus. We watched, um... Crap, what was the... Oh, we watched Peter Pan and Return to Neverland, which is a childhood favorite of mine. And then we watched Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, which I apparently had never seen before. I see, I've i seen, like, bits and pieces of it before, but I had never seen it in full before. And I had no idea those movies were so long. <sighs> Reminded me of when we watched Lord of the Rings. But... <laughs> and then we watched Princess and the Frog. I like the old animated movies. Well, old. Peter Pan and Return to Neverland is old, but Princess and the Frog is still pretty new. Yes! The second burger is done. Okay. I don't think these burgers are going to be very juicy, which I'm a little bit worried about, but it's not going to be... Uh, it's icky! <laughs> and I closed the cover! I don't like this! Ah! It's, it's, it's ouch, hot! Ouch, hot, ew, ow. Uh. Disgusting. <sighs> I'll 
always important to wash your hands while you're cooking. And now, for the pro tip that saved my life while I have cooked, always remove the trash after you're done with it. Goodbye. Yes, I have a trash pile in my corner. No, it is not sanitary. It is because our trash room stinks and I have a weak stomach right now for like at least 26 more weeks. And uh, he has been gone with military stuff, which is why he's sleeping. So we have not done the trash in a while. <laughs> They are soft. And it is nice. It is nice. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but does cooking ever remind you of Beauty and the Beast when they're doing the be your get or be our guest scene? <laughs> it always makes me smile because I always think of Beauty and the Beast. Is that stringy thing? Is that plastic for my spatula? Nope. They yes, charred chicken. I think the pan is a little too hot. But, oh well. So we're gonna let the mashed potatoes cook a little bit more. And then we're gonna let the burger cook for a couple more minutes. We're gonna move this out of the way. I'm pretty impressed with myself. I've made an excellent dinner. With ground chicken, potatoes, uh, canned vegetables, and one knife. The only knife I own. I'm pretty proud. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. The only thing that sucks is that we haven't, we have like weird buns. They've got like onions in them and they're not that great. If my husband asks, asks they are perfect. Okay, those are getting pretty nice. We're going to take them over to the sink and we're going to drain them with no drainer. I've done this a couple times and I've only burned myself once. So, here's to not burning myself. <laughs> Move the candles out of the way. Ew, they're wet because they fell into the sink earlier. Stay. The nice thing about this pan is that it's not airtight, so if I just let it sit like this for a bit, the water is going to drain out the side. If you can see the water is like boiling up on the side right here. I would point to it, but both my hands are full because this is a really heavy pot. Excuse me. I've been eating cough drops all day because I have a head cold. Because I work in a daycare. And sickness is the most common thing with a daycare. Let's quickly hop over to the burger because I think it's bleeding. Oh, my little burger, please don't burn without me. Oh, yeah, you're burning. Sweet aroma of I don't even know what. <laughs> okay, 
So let's get these drained. Ow, move that back a bit. Oh yeah. When I move the lid just a tiny bit, water starts coming out like Niagara Falls. Ouch. Hot steam. That's hot steam. <laughs> The only thing more painful than this steam is the cramps that I've been experiencing. Ah! Okay, that's me. I didn't know it was going to fall. Okay. We're going to try this a little bit differently. why I gave up on draining the spaghetti last night. I would awake my husband to do this, but I know he's been working a lot lately. Oh yeah. That's nice. It's all drained. Aha. Fifth time's a turn. Ugh. Now for my favorite part. Okay. One stick of butter. Get off of the wrapper. You swine. Now we add silk milk because I am allergic to dairy. And we don't really know how much milk to add, so we just eyeball it. And I need to use up this milk by the end of the week, so. Now we mash the heck out of it. Oh yeah, some of these are a little bit tough. Should have let it cook for a couple more minutes. I need both hands to mash these. I've been getting weak here. All of a sudden, oof. Okay. Ugh. Or maybe that's not potato. Maybe that's just the bottom of the, oh, that's just the bottom of the pan. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Have you ever had a song stuck in your head and you know why it's there and you kind of love why it's there and kind of hate why it's there? That's me right now. Ugh. So when I was a kid, my siblings and I used to watch movies all the time. And one of the movies we used to watch constantly at my grandparents' house was called Jitty Jitty Bang Bang. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but it's an old Dick Van Dyke movie. And we were obsessed with Mary Poppins, so of course we had to watch everything Dick Van Dyke. Except for the Dick Van Dyke show. I've never seen that. But apparently my husband also saw it when he was a kid. And he showed it to his kids. And so... One day, just randomly in his head, he started singing Old Bamboo, which is a song from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Then he started playing it for me, and now it's stuck in my head. So going round and round in my head is Old Bamboo, Old Bamboo, everything's better with an Old Bamboo. And because it sounds so much like Step in Time, the other side of my brain is going step in time, step in time. Ow, that is a hot stove. Don't touch that, stupid. Yes, 
the butter is melting and everything is coming nice together. I love it. If I had some seasonings, I would add some rice, um, not some rice, <laughs> rice comes later. I would add some salt and a lot of pepper to this. And if I had it, I might also add a tiny bit of Tabasco sauce. But what I will definitely add to this tomorrow in a separate bowl, of course, is rice and scrambled egg. Maybe a tiny bit of salsa. Because everything goes better with salsa. Hopefully I don't puke up the salsa this time. Oh yeah. And those potatoes are done. Dinner's officially ready. All I need to do is cook the mixed vegetables, but that will only take a couple seconds. So let's go wake up the husband first. I love waking him up. He's so cute when he sleeps. Anyway, thanks for cooking with me. Bye.